Hello everybody, welcome back to our Farming Center 22 how-to video. This video is part two of our four-part series where we're talking about the Straw Harvest Pack from Creative Mesh that we'll be releasing very, very soon for Farming Simulator 22. The Straw Harvest Pack will be available for all platforms. Those on console, you can download it from the in-game downloadable content menu. Those that are on PC, you can either get it from the in-game downloadable content menu the same way or via the Giants Mod Hub, and I will have a link to that down in the description once again, once the mod is released. What we're looking at here is the Crone Big Pack 1290 HDP2XC Square Baler. And this thing is an absolute beast. It has been attached to the Crone Bale Collect, and the Bale Collect is a really awesome attachment because it's gonna allow you to take up to three bales, put them side by side, and then deposit them down on the field, which is gonna make collecting the bales out of the field much, much easier. Then we also have the Crone Comprima V180XC Round Baler, and it is capable of producing all three sizes of round bales from 125 centimeters all the way up to 180. We also have some consumables. For the round baler, we have net wrap. And for the square baler, we have pallets of twine. Let's go ahead and take a look at these in the shop. We got a mods and DLCs, straw harvest pack. We're gonna find the Crone Comprima V180 XC. It's gonna be $81,700 to buy. It's gonna make 125 to 180 centimeter round bales, as I said earlier, with a 12 mile per hour operating speed, and it's gonna require 80 horsepower to operate. As far as configuration options, we can get standard tires, or we can go with slightly narrower tires. And then we have refill supplies either manually or automatic. If you do not want to have to fill this with net wrap out in the field, then pick automatic. It is gonna cost you a $10,000 premium for that luxury, but it is available that way. I like to run things in manual mode myself. In fact, I hope the next farm sim includes the use of consumables in all balers as a standard feature. We also have the ability to add a license plate if we wish to the back and it will look just like that. Then we have the Crone Big Pack 1290 HDP2 XC Square Baler. It's gonna require 258 horsepower to operate. It's gonna make 180 centimeter to 240 centimeter square bales. And it's gonna operate at 15 miles per hour. It's gonna have very similar configuration option with respect to refillable supplies. And we can either choose manual or automatic. And again, if you do not want to have to load bale twine into this particular baler, you're gonna make sure that you pick the automatic option here under refill supplies. But for this video, we have chosen manual. We also have the option of a bale chute. This is gonna be how typical square balers in the game are gonna operate. We're going to basically deposit one bale at a time behind us as we are baling, or we can configure it with a bale collect 1230 connection. So we have a much shorter bale chute. And then we have a hitch here for the purpose of connecting that bale collect attachment. We also do have the ability to add a license plate once again to the rear, and that's where it's going to appear. Then lastly, we have the bale collect 1230. It's gonna be a $29,580 add-on to the big pack. And that is going to attach to the rear, assuming that you have configured the baler correctly. And then when we get into the field, we are going to unfold this and it's gonna allow us to basically collect three bales side by side and then deposit those three bales on the field at which time we're gonna be to come back and take a look at these bale grabs, which we're gonna talk about in part three of the video or the video series on collecting the bales off the field with these bale grabs. It creates quite an interesting kind of gameplay mechanic. Now, when we get into our baler, we're gonna to have to basically stock it full of bale twine. So in order to do that, we're gonna hit in to lower the bale boxes. And then we're gonna hit R to fill them. And we're now loading our baler with rolls of twine 
on both sides. Just to take a look at some of these details while we're loading. Now I know some of you may be inclined to pick automatic because you just don't want to be messed with these consumables. But this baler is going to hold a heap load of bale twine. You're really not going to have to fill it all that frequently. But let's let's jump back in shop because we failed to talk about those consumables a little bit ago. Bale twine, $340 per pallet. That is assuming that we have then 48 bales of bale twine per pallet. We can configure that with different options from 48, 44, 40, 36, 32, 28, 24, 20, 16, 12, eight or four rolls of bale twine. With respect to our net wrap, $460 for a pallet of net wrap, and we can get it with 15 rolls, 12 rolls, nine rolls, six rolls, three rolls. So this particular baler is going to be able to hold up to 66 rolls of bale twine. So that's why we had started out with two pallets. And once we're loaded up, we're gonna hit in to basically lift those boxes back in place. And now this baler is locked and ready to roll. Let's come over here to our round baler. We're gonna have a very similar option. We're gonna hit in to open the loading door. We're gonna hit R to fill. And it's gonna put basically three rolls of wrap in there. We're gonna hit in to then close that door. I've got some straw already over here. We're going to lower and turn this unit on. We've got a really cool belt animations going on here at the top. Just going to slow that back down and start her back up. And again, we have the ability to make 125 centimeter up to 180 centimeter round bales. Very quick to unload. So that's 125. Here we have 150. And then we'll produce a 180 centimeter bale after this. I have been playing with the net wrap auto mod on my Alma Missouri series and that round baler it is a bit slower in operation because of the use of net wrap. This baler though I have to say is pretty darn quick with respect to even using the consumable net wrap and might be uh, strongly considering upgrading to this baler as a result and there we go three bales just that quickly and we've used a total of four percent of the net wrap available now the crone a big pack there's a little bit more involved in getting this prepped up right now we're selected on the bale collector we're going to hit x to unfold that and in essence it's shortening up the tongue on that it's unfolding the sides and now it's basically making it a 
a fixed platform connected to the baler. We're going to toggle over to the baler and we're going to lower that down. I'm going to switch over to 240 centimeter bales. We're going to go ahead and also take a look at bale unload mode. So O, right now it has three X's side by side. You'll find that is the bottom line on the F1 menu. We can O, we can change that to X down the middle. That's the same as basically a bale chute. As soon as it gets one bale on the bale collect, it's just going to deposit it on the ground. O again, now we have X dash X. So it's gonna load two bales with a space in the middle on the bale collect before it deposits it on the ground. And then one more time where we have three X's, it's gonna load three bales on before it deposits on the ground. So let's go ahead, just take a look and how we're gonna use all three of those modes just to demonstrate those here. And something else I wanna point out is the really cool animations that we have with this baler. And specifically, I want you to watch these little lollipops. I call them lollipops. They are basically nodder signaling. It's gonna signal that the nodder has been run. So you'll see those pop as soon as it makes a bale. There, it just popped. It just made a bale, used the nodder. And that's key because someone from the baler can basically keep an eye on those little lollipops and make sure that they are all working as they should. So again, we have this set to a single bale unloading mode. So once we have a single bale on our bale collect here, it will deposit it directly behind the back of the baler. There we go. And onto the ground. Now let's change to two bales. And what's gonna be different about this mode is it's gonna take one bale, it's gonna move it to the left, it's gonna take another bale, move it to the right, and then deposit those two bales on the ground behind the baler. Let's go ahead and watch that play out. Here it moves one bale to the right first. This was back in Farm Sim 17, I guess my preferred piece of machinery in the straw harvest pack. I really enjoyed using the big pack. So there's two and it deposits both of those onto the ground. Let's change this to now three bale mode. I really enjoyed using this to basically make bales and then deposit three bales at a time on the field. It then made going around and manually collecting those bales a whole lot more fun and a whole lot more enjoyable as opposed to just picking up one bale constantly at a time. Even if you used an auto load, loading trailer is more fun. So there we have one to the right. We're gonna take the next bale, move it to the left. And then we're gonna shoot one bale right down the middle and then eject all three of them out the back of the bale collector. There we go, bail over to the left. And again, one right down the center. All three on the ground and boom, Bob's your uncle. That is basically how we're gonna be using the new balers in the straw harvest pack, as well as using the bale collect with the big pack square baler. Again, this is this is gonna be my go-to configuration from this point forward in Farm Sim 22 when I am making square bales. I'm gonna use a Chrome Big Pack. I'm gonna use the bale collect. And I'll put three bales at a time on the back onto the field. So then I can use one of the bale grabs that we're gonna talk about in part three to pick those up off the field, load them manually onto a flatbed trailer, and then transport them to and around the farm.
Let me know, guys, what you all think down in the comments below with respect to the things that you have seen already in the Straw Harvest Pack for Farming Simulator 22. Did you enjoy using this pack in Farming Simulator 19 or maybe Farming Simulator 17? Until next time, happy farming.